I know this, I know this topic is such a great, um, topic that we don't necessarily talk about. Um, it is on everybody's mind, whether you're a stay at home mom or a working mom or a single mom, you are always trying to provide for others. And that's your main priority is to provide for others. And sometimes within motherhood, especially as a new mom, you you can lose yourself within that mix. So while you're up all night feeding, tending to the baby or um, working on your sleeping schedule or you know during the day, going to work, coming home, doing work, at home, you know, grocery shopping, cleaning up, laundry, whatever the tasks are in mind, you tech you typically get to it's it's very easy for you to lose yourself within that process. And I hear a lot of moms talk about this and they don't necessarily know how to approach this. It is there's no easy way to just drop your identity and welcome yourself into motherhood. It's almost like nobody nobody really prepares you for motherhood you just you're one day you wake up you're pregnant and so then your journey into motherhood starts so there's no preparing for grieving and leaving your old life and pursuing your new life so sometimes um, it can mix moms up as far as um, understanding how to uh, find themselves within motherhood. So motherhood cannot just define you as who you are. You also were an individual prior to becoming a mom. And sometimes, sometimes mothers do embrace that and they totally take on that ownership of being a motherhood and that identity of being a motherhood. And that's okay because that's what makes them comfortable and um, able to navigate life as a mother. So. Um, I'm just speaking to the moms who are uh, struggling to find themselves uh, outside of motherhood. So your identity is not solely just the mother or the spouse. You are also an individual outside of these two um, identities. So I um, just compiled a couple things that I think that will be useful for moms to go ahead and find themselves throughout this journey. Um, finding yourself outside of motherhood also stems from perhaps postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety and um, just the whole process of grieving the old, your old lifestyle and not not easily transitioning into motherhood or perhaps you weren't expecting to be a mother or perhaps you are a young mother or you were a career mother and then all of a sudden you had to drop everything and become a mother and so now you are struggling with your identity you're struggling with where you belong or where do you fit and you find yourself perhaps you can't make mom friends because you don't identify with that lifestyle fully um, and you cannot perhaps, uh, you don't belong in your old lifestyle because you are a mom now because of certain things that you have to do or attend or responsibilities that you are um, responsible for that you couldn't do in the past. So there's a lot going on in our motherhood plate and I find it very, um, it's very hard perhaps to talk about. I know a lot of mothers, they just completely struggle um, with that. So perhaps these things that I am listing today will help you moms and always talk to your doctor if you feel like you are not able to perform your motherly duties or you feel like you are struggling with postpartum depression or you're struggling with postpartum anxiety, I really recommend talking to a professional because there there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you will see progress in your life. You just need to kind of step out and understand what is it that you are lacking? What is it that you need? Is it just um, a separation from motherhood as far as you know doing activities or is it something that needs to be clinically addressed with medication or therapy or anything of that sort so the first thing i would recommend is that you are open and honest with your partner if you do have a partner just be open and honest with them let them know what you are dealing with and have them understand that this is what you are going to be doing from now on so 
outside of being a mom, perhaps you want to pick up a hobby or you want to pick up a certain routine or do something that is for you, only you. And let them know, like, hey, this is my thing. This is what I'm going to do and I need your help with that. So make sure you have that discussion with your partner if you do have a partner. So you don't want to just kind of drop the ball and go, you know what, I am not I'm I'm going out and not explaining why the sudden change, why the sudden shift that causes friction with the relationships. So it's always good to talk about things with your partner. Um, certain things that I would recommend perhaps uh, making a standing nail appointment. So manicure, pedicure for yourself. So perhaps it could be once a week, once every two weeks, but it's a standing appointment that everybody in your household knows that you will be out on this date at this hour to take time for you. And um, that's something that you can budget for. That's something that you can plan for in advance. So it's something, it's very simple, very easy, but you will be surprised on how therapeutic it will be for you. Um, the second thing is I would recommend taking yourself out on a date. So go out to have lunch by yourself, watch a movie, go uh, for lunch, go for dinner. I mean, these things don't take long. they will be two hours max out of your day and it will give you a refresh or, re or a reboost. So you can also make that a standing thing. So maybe perhaps every Sunday evening or Sunday brunch or um, Friday night or whatever days work with you and your family that this is your time to take out of uh, being a mom and just hanging out with friends or yourself or your family and just kind of um, reconnecting with who you are and figuring out your identity. You can also um, start a new habit. Perhaps you can, you know, learn yoga or um, play an instrument or go for a hike or go for a walk. I mean, there's a lot of little things that you can do on your own for 10 minutes to max an hour that can help boost your day. So if you can find classes or lessons in the morning and uh, find a gym that has um, child care that you can perhaps pr drop off your baby and take that time off for yourself or you can just let like I said before tell your spouse or tell your partner hey I will be doing this this and that and these are my schedule and, and plan accordingly you can do all little things you know you can meditate you can pray you can listen to your own music by yourself so you're not listening to abc's and that also brings back the memories of your old self um so pretty much there's you know go dancing go watch an art show go to the museum i mean whatever it is that your old self enjoy doing prior to being a mother i would just tap into that and and carry that forward as a routine for you I mean, they're, they're all little things, but they all do add up and they help with your mental health and your physical health as well. These little things will help you figure out what your identity is moving forward as well. So I figured out um, what it, who you are and moving forward as a mom. You know, there's certain things that I will not do that I used to do back before I was a mom, be just because I don't feel that I want to do these things anymore, I don't desire to do these things anymore. Um, but there's little things that I still do. I still go do my nails. I will, you know, go work out. And there's, you know, these things will keep you sane, keep you on track, um, and they just kind of form yourself and your identity moving forward. So even if, let's say, for example, you are, you were used to going out and partying and dancing all night with your friends prior to becoming a a mom and now you want to do that but you feel that you can't do that because you are a mom and you finally get to do it and sometimes you feel like okay this is not for me i don't feel like i need to do this any longer and find other avenues of releasing that energy so you know getting your makeup done hair done going out with your friends and drinking that's all part of the release of stress or whatever it is that you were doing. So if that is something that you found yourself that you can still do as, as after you become a mom, that's okay too as well because that's also a sense of release of expression, 
of just who you want to be in your identity. So, you know, people go dancing and party because they want to just de-stress and have fun and let go. And that's okay as well. So, you know, there's different things that people like to do and there's certain things that people um, have to identify themselves through. So if you feel like, you know, you want to try out certain things, um, that's okay as well. Just make sure that you have your partner on track with you or whoever is trying to babysit your baby and let them know and let them understand that you are trying to figure out yourself outside of motherhood. A lot of working moms as well um, are overwhelmed. I mean, I don't know how they do what they do. I think they are the true superheroes. I mean, they have to work all day, come home, tend to their babies, tend to their families and still figure out their identity as well. So it is very, very important for working moms who have the limited time frame of them for themselves because they find themselves that they need to, uh, with that little time frame of, of their time off, they need to spend that with their family because they're at work and they feel guilty if they don't spend that time with their, their family because they're working the majority of the time. So um, just take a little time, like I said, it could be from 10 minutes to an hour and make sure that that's your me time. It's very important um, to do so. And sometimes some moms do not care for their me time. They feel like their me time is with their family and that's okay as well. So whichever way you feel like you can express yourself, whether it's through makeup or dancing or getting dressed or getting your nails done or reading a book, taking a walk, riding a bike. I mean, there's there's so much little things that you can do that can help you refresh your soul. And so it is very important for you to identify these things and work upon it. I mean, sometimes it is very hard to do so um, but make sure that everybody involved in your life is on track and let them know this is what you want to do and hopefully um, things will get better in your life as a mom. What, being a mom is one of the most complex jobs in the world. Nobody prepares you, you don't know what to expect and you just have this immense amount of responsibilities and it's all on you uh, typically and you have to navigate through that. So it is very hard. Just understand that you are doing such a great job. Um, moms are very powerful women. They are just beyond words. I can't even describe the amount of uh, strength that it takes for for a woman to become a mom. So it is very, very hard, it's very challenging, it is very mentally and physically exhausting. And um, trying to find yourself and trying to just be a little selfish for yourself is very hard too as well. So I hope these little tips do help you. I know there's a lot of um, things that perhaps can get in the way of you be doing these things but make sure you fight for yourself because in order for you to provide a healthy family and be a healthy mom you need to take care of yourself first so i uh wish you guys all good luck and see you soon